This video is going to have a look at what the word purity means in a chemical sense. So not the way it's seen in the everyday world, but how chemists see it. So the first thing to look at is how we look at the word pure in the real world. So if you take a glass of orange juice, if you look on the pack, it will say something on the lines of pure. Now what that pure means in the real world is there's no extra content added, no supplements. However, a scientist would not think that's pure. A scientist would turn around and go, hang on a minute, that's got many different chemicals in that aren't joined together. So they'd class that as a mixture. So to look at what pure is from a scientist's point of view, we have to look at the particle model. So this is an example of a pure element that I'm drawing. It's got one element, nothing else. So we class it as pure. If we break that down, we would still have the same thing. We just have one atom of that pure element. But you can also have a pure compound. So if I draw a water molecule, and lots of them in the same area, as long as there is nothing else in that water, you just have H2O, that is what you call a pure compound. So finally, if we have a look at what a mixture actually is then in terms of the particle model, that can be anything. But here, I've got two different elements, and they're not joined together. There are no bonds between the purple and the blue. This tells you that it's impure, that there are two different things that you'd need to separate. So in summary, what you have to do is look at the particle model. So if you want to know if something is pure or a mixture or not, have a look at what's in there and whether there are any bonds. If it's a pure element, there are only one element not bonded. If it's a pure compound, it's only one compound not bonded. And then if it's a mixture, it means you've got lots of different things in there that aren't joined together. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So you might get given something like this in an exam which says you are given two substances, one is pure and one is impure. Explain the difference between a pure and impure substance for two marks and then explain how you can find out which one is pure based on melting point apparatus and explain why the temperature does not change when the pure substance melts. So I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at answering the questions. Okay. So, if we have a look at the first question then, which was explain the difference between a pure and an impure substance. The first marking point is for saying something pure cannot be changed, or all the pieces are the same. Either of those would have got you the first mark. The second mark is for saying an impure is a mixture, or the elements or compounds that are not bonded together. Question two, which is explain how you can find out which one is pure, based on melting point apparatus and explain why the temperature does not change when the pure substance melts. So this is a bit of a link back to one of the previous videos. Your first marking point is for saying heat both of them up until they melt. So usually in the exam just for saying heat them, melt them, you'd have got one mark. For B, the pure substance will melt at the same temperature. So about talking about the fact that if it's pure, that melting point range will be very small. For impure or your mixture, it will melt over a larger range. So something to do with that. And then the temperature does not change during melting because the energy is being used by the particles to break away, to turn it from that solid into the liquid, is your fourth marking point. Okay, hopefully that's helped you with those questions in the, this topic. If you can answer this review question, you have learned everything you needed to know, which is explain how to find out if a solid is pure or a mixture.